Hey guys, it's DC here and today we're going to be talking about a few different lab ideas that you can use to boost your profile, to show passion and to stand out ahead of the rest. Before we get started on today's video, if you would like to become the best version of yourself and to learn from the best in cybersecurity, head to saferinternetproject.com and become a member today. I've made so many different videos on labs in the past and why cybersecurity labs are extremely important in standing out ahead of the rest when you're applying for a job. The main points of why you should build a lab is because recruiters love it, it's a great way to show your skill and it's a great fun project to actually play with and learn some new skills every single day. I'm going to make this video nice and quick, so let's get stuck in. The first lab idea I have for you is an attack and defense lab. I've created a mini series on how to get the first few steps of your own lab created, which I'll put in the description below. The basic idea of this lab is that you have an attack machine and a defense machine and in the middle, you have something that is viewing logs and giving you the insight into what a defense and what the attack vectors are when you're attacking and defending against yourself. It's a very basic concept. It's something that's very useful and it shows passion and skill. In this lab, you learn different things like how to build virtual machines, how to network virtual machines and how to actually manage the software and systems that you've put in between these systems to protect and monitor the logs. It's super simple. It's one that you can get started on straight away and costs absolutely nothing to get going with. This jacket and shirt combo actually looks pretty cool. The second lab idea is to build a website. Now what you do with this website is entirely up to you. You could use this website as an online resume. You could use this website to build a tool. A really cool idea of a tool is to build something that hooks into different APIs as an OSINT tool. So imagine for a second you want to view breach data on the internet for an OSINT investigation. You could have someone input their email into a website and it does the search for you. You could also have a website that links into the Shodan system and it does like a basic search for you. So an example of this is that you want to search printers that have open ports. Sure, you could go straight to Shodan for this, but what you could do is just build a little website that outputs all of this information in an easy to understand way that anyone could use. It's just a fun little project and it shows your interest in the area of cybersecurity. It also shows your interest in digital investigations and of course, OSINT investigations. Another example of a website that you could use is one that shows quick answers to coding issues. So for example, you put a code snippet into a search field in a website and it searches something like ChatGPT's API to give you the actual results. This is useful for people who don't want to buy an open AI license. And you could hook that into your own website for people to utilize. Of course, this one's going to cost you money because open AI is not free and hosting a website is not free either in most cases. But it's a cool little project that could be fun to show off in an interview. And when you go into an interview and you say, I've actually built this like code repair website that shows where you've done something wrong and how to actually fix that. Built on AI, it's got some basic programming in it and it's just a kind of fun little tool to play around with. You then go on to say how you're really passionate about this project. It's something that you're really interested in in the cybersecurity space as far as like programming and development goes and exactly why this is a passion for you. Something like this would really stand out in an interview and it's something that not a lot of people do. The people who do do it though are the ones who actually get a job which is what I'm trying to help you guys with here. Staying on the the AI side of things, as well as OSINT in this case, is to build another website that uses both AI and OSINT investigation tactics. You could use it to use the ChatGPT4 lookup tool that is going to look up current information. Now again, you could do all of this manually by searching Google, searching other than Google, as well as searching social media accounts. But why not link them all together and put it into a nice output through ChatGPT to find that information for you. Say for example, you want to search a certain individual's social media presence. You could build a tool using ChatGPT that also looks up social profiles and outputs everything nicely on a website for people to see. Now this is just another basic example, but it's something that would really stand out in an interview as something that you're actually interested in and are passionate about. I love labs. I love little basic projects like this that are fun to show off in interviews. And as I've said, doing these sort of projects is something that really shows your passion in the industry and something I think really does put you ahead of the rest. I know from talking with different cybersecurity recruiters that these types of ideas are the ones that win. These are the ones that show 
the person has passion, experience and skills in an area and something that you can actually use going into an interview to help you get a job. I'd love to know some more lab ideas in the comments below. So if you guys can put those in the comments below, that would be fantastic for other people to use and make their own version of. Just to any basic idea that's related to cybersecurity, systems development, and systems administration, specifically something that's close to networking space, are really good projects to show. So if you have any ideas, please do put them in the comments below and let's get some conversation started. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash like and subscribe for more and I'll see you guys all on the next video. Thanks for watching.